Welcome to Eat Your Backyard. It is a really nice Sunday morning. Man, look at this. Just gonna walk around and do an update. Haven't done a video for a little while. Some kind of overdue. Uh, I've been starting, I've started to remove the weeds from the areas that I talked about in the last video. And of course, the next step is gonna be to put the grass plugs in. But these are the suckers that really are very easy to pull but are just incredibly prolific that I have to get rid of but I'm making some progress can't go overboard we have things to do you know like have fun look at this mammoth sunflower is that amazing so easy this is my number one recommended thing to grow in the garden it does kind of leach nutrients out where you plant it but they're so easy to grow and just so incredibly cool and when they get to this phase Wow, now you can eat those, those sunflower seeds, of course. And uh, we will, once it gets a little bit older. The problem is if you let it go too long, uh, they tend to get little worms that eat into the seeds here in Florida, so you have to be a little bit careful. But isn't that cool? I didn't realize that thing had bloomed. Nice. Now here's another thing I'm keeping my eye on, which is I used to have a gigantic patch of aloe, but now I'm down to just a couple here and there, you know, and uh, for good reason, there's no need to have what, what amounted to be four yard waste containers full of aloe when I got rid of it. It just was like no diversity, didn't look too good either. But I like to have at least one good medicinal aloe vera plant and this is it. You know, it's kind of it's slumped over because of where I had it. So it'll grow up and find where the sun is, it'll be beautiful. And that, that one that, that comes over like this, I'll cut that off next sunburn I get. Um, and use it. I was actually, I had kind of a irritated stomach from taking antibiotics uh, a little while ago and uh, I was going to try eating some of it some of it, because I heard it's really good for the lining of your stomach so anyway that is what it is. You can see that these uh, Song of India, Song of Jamaica, uh, Dracaena are doing well. I, I pretty much stumped them and they're coming back very nicely. You can see that if you do that to your Dracaena they start to send out these Excellent little shoots just like this. Now I want to, this one I want tree form, so I'm going to have to get rid of these. I'll just, I'll just do that right now. But, uh, you know, with the tree form look, you want to keep them off, but when you want them low like this, because what I want to kind of achieve is like a low shrub and then some that are tree formed, etc. And you can see this is the other one, the tricolor. Doing the same thing. If I wanted to take a, sh take a cutting, that would be a great one to do because it's already got that woody. Area. I could cut it right up next to the trunk there and easily plant that and get a, another plant. Now, uh, the mulberry. Look at this thing. Oh, this is edible. I've been eating these lately. You can eat them. They actually taste pretty good. Um, mulberry is starting to show some berries. It's uh, got some ripe ones. This one is an old one, and I did just brutally stump it. You know, which is not a good practice. When you when you stump it, look, you can see it's got wood drillers in here. This thing's probably not going to last that much longer. But mulberry is so easy to grow. I just don't. I'm never worried about it. You know, if they go, they go. Uh, here's one I stumped down to the ground, and it's grown up more like in a bush fashion, and uh, it's doing great. Doing great. If I get rid of some of these, of course, but. This is what I basically want, which is a lot of branches to produce a lot of fruit. Now this year it's not going to produce much fruit because it's brand new. It usually produces on second year growth. Oh, look at that. Here's another mammoth sunflower. Getting ready to reach for the sky and give me a flower. I didn't know I had two. Missed that. Now here's some edible Nepali's cactus that I planted, which are doing pretty well. Let's see what else we got here. Long and tree, nothing really. Nothing really happening there. Uh, sometimes I can get some Suriname cherries this time of year. They don't really look like they're doing much. Now this is interesting. My Edward mango tree. One lonely mango. Uh, it really has a tough time. It gets hit with the sprinklers here and it just doesn't do well. This branch looks like it might be going. But you see these branches where it gets up a little higher above the irrigation? Those are the ones that will make it grow years from now. So I'm going to just keep the faith. Look at the mulberry. Springtime for the mulberry. This thing is going off, going off. Uh, it doesn't have nearly as much fruit as I thought it would, and probably the reason is I haven't been trimming it as much as I should. And also, I need to give it some fish. But it does have mulberries. If you take a look, there, there are quite a few. 
I mean, when I say it doesn't have much, you know, it, much compared to previous years, but really it has plenty. Uh, let's see here. We even got some ripe ones here. There. I think I'll have a couple mulberries for breakfast. Those are good. <laughs> got some lemons. Sure enough. Oh, there's a little banana spider in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I trimmed this tree way back this year. And uh, during the hurricane. And I, I was kind of bummed because this is a big producer and we love the fruit off of it. Star fruit tree still coming back. Same thing. Tommy Atkins mango. Looking strong. Going to get nothing off it fruit wise. But look at this. The Hayden mango, which is my championship mango tree, it is doing well. This is its third flowering of the year. And uh, let's see here. You can see there are, ah, oh, there we go. There are mangoes for sure up there. A lot of them are what I call BB mangoes. You see all these little guys up here? Those are little mangoes that formed. Now, the flowers came and were kind of too early. See all those little mangoes? Yeah, this one's going to be loaded. The flowers, they, they form hundreds of potential mangoes on each stalk. And then as, the, uh, as it gets older, you know, they drop off. And most of the stems will produce no mangoes. But then some will produce one, some will produce two, three. But uh, the point is... You just kind of have to hang with it and uh, let it do its thing and, and it produces the, the mangoes. But this year is going to be a big production year for mangoes for the Hayden. And I'm really happy because that is the best, without a doubt, the best mango I know of, even though it's a little bit stringy. It's very tart. Now this tree, wind whipped to death by the winds from Hurricane Matthew. It's not looking good. But what I do like is that, look at that, it's got areas where it is definitely wanting to go. So what I need to do is kind of hat rack this tree. I, I know that I need to do that. Yeah, look at that. Plenty of green growth so that it fills in again. Because this kind of spindly looking deal is not what we want. So we'll get rid of that. My loquat tree is actually doing pretty well. It's gotten to the point where it's so high now that it's hard to get to the fruit, which is definitely not cool. But I don't really see any fruit up there right now, so... I'm not worried about it. I may have to bring that one down too. I'm, I'm going to bring it down at the same time I bring down this uh, Hayden so that one doesn't shade out the other. Yeah, I got rid of all the all the weeds that were accumulating back here. You know, this is a massive uh, effort to get this whole area cleaned out. Oh, there's a little deliciosa fruit that I planted that's getting ready to start doing something better. Uh, one thing I did back here was when I, I was going to get rid of this banana clump and then decided why would I do that I love banana clumps and uh, how long is it gonna take for me to regrow something it's this big but look at these little sprouts I planted when I was shuffling around some bananas that were against the back fence they're taking root that's three cuttings and I got a bunch more I put around back uh, we have some bananas here they're looking pretty good and really good that one's probably about three or four weeks away from being done. And there's these bananas. Kind of hard to see, but they're coming in. So lots of bananas on the way. Another mulberry tree growing in here. These are from cuttings. I had, see I've got mulberry trees all along here. I had planted about six of them and they all took root. But right now they're just, they're just kind of vegetating. And here's the old fig tree. The fig tree is absolutely going off right now. I don't see a lot of figs though, so hopefully they'll fill in. Hey Jack. Hey. What are you doing? I'm waiting for Jessica. Jessica, what are you going to do? Play tag. Play tag? That sounds like fun. 